So this is my composing area here. And every scratch food or leftover food that we had, I always uh, uh, throw it or dump it here. And this is, as you see it here, this is a random vegetable. Because whatever it grows here, it is, it is what it is here. And it just I just leave it them alone. Or what I'm doing sometimes is uh, I transplant this, but... Uh, most of it, it is my compost uh, area here, and uh, the thing is, the thing is compost here. The soil has become rich and rich, and uh, of course, your vegetable it's uh, grow up healthy. And uh, the same, like I'm saying, like this. Look at all my pepper here. It is this. Look at this. It's covered with pepper. And uh, you notice it, they are huge too. They're, you can tell how, how healthy it is. Full of pepper. And then that's the good thing of this, that if I need uh, pepper, I don't need to, to buy. That's a bonus round on that. And I have uh, sweet potato leaves there also. Uh, kangkong, it's really on taro, uh, squash, everything, you know, and uh, and of course the, our water came from our pump, it's, it's flowing here, so this taro is really loves water and uh, this uh, pandan leaves, and pandan leaves it's really good to use there if, if you're gonna cook the rice for the aroma. And climbing spinach it's everything and uh, this is the thing that I told you that's so hard to live to live a life here you know in our life here in Philippines because it's uh, it is so really relaxing and very peaceful to live it here wing bean I plant also a lot of wing bean and this is all the limbs I mean it is all the bamboo that came from wash out from the mountain and I take this one and put it here because I like it because there's a lot of limb that the, the your vine baseball it really loves to crawl it And this morning, James joked with me that, uh, Charlotte, did you make a web again? Yes, I did. So this is my new web here for my uh, wing bean. Yes. Oh, soon they're going to have uh, fruits also. That's a good thing on this here. Yes, uh, you watch baseball garden again and again, but some some of this I never uh, updating on our video. So I, this is uh, my uh, better cord area here before, but I removed the better cord and I changed into the uh, what is that? Oppo or cord cord battle cord? Or I don't know what's the English on that. I forgot it. But anyway, yes, this, uh, it is a new plant that i working here. And inside of our yard, I have a few lemongrass there, but I remove it because I really want in just one section only so that not going to be so scattered. So on this row, uh, I asked our worker to put some of this big stone here. And this is all my lemongrass here. And, and like I said, I like blending stuff and not only for the lemongrass, but majority is the lemongrass, right? But I also plant some flower and uh, some any vegetable that uh, I can occupy the, the space of that. See, my wing bean start blooming. Soon we have a uh, wing bean fruits, fruits or what you call vegetable. See it here? I love it. 
and this is uh, the only thing is sad for me to leave because nobody gonna taking care the same like what I did you know like uh, put uh, extra effort on this meanwhile besides of that I was so happy also you know after of this raining season here I was so happy that I saw my papaya it's growing back again and produce a bunch of fruits see this is my my huge uh, papaya here and mostly on this papaya is I like to keep this one to just uh, let it I like this papaya to let it ripe because the the variety is there huge and it is really good and uh, I, I told to my brother that I don't like it to take this one for just for you know cooking because I don't like it but I have some I have a uh, lots of papaya but the only thing is on this papaya I don't like to just cook it I really like this to see this one uh, big and uh, this is my my uh, backup uh, seeds so I've been harvesting this one here to eat the ripe one full of papaya here and my only enemy on this area here is the sea spray because of course we are close here on the beach so if there's no sea spray or typhoon I was so happy and because not really affecting on my vegetable or my plants here so I just I plant more new uh, lemon grass. So, uh, to those who don't know, I think I already mentioned this one for my uh, last video, not last video, but the previous video that we had. So, this is the sagu, and actually, I don't know what it is in English, but it's a kind of uh, uh, fruit, uh, not fruit, uh, it is fruit, it's like. Um, sweet potato also like uh, the fruit is under so oh uh, anyway i'm so nose bleeding on that but anyway it is also a uh, food this one here is not a uh, ornamental plants it is a uh, food that i grow it here and of course this is one of your back of food here also and this is already here in front of our beach when that sea spray come you know it's really affect my pepper here but i plant a new one again and again you know i never give up and this life here so don't give up just plant and plant and i also sprout the um, um, Anyway, I also sprout this uh, saluyot here, and they are everywhere also. This is good also for any soup, that Filipino soup, you know, it is a lot of uh, vitamins. So, and uh, of course, you're not seeing it for right now because I plant a new one there. I plant a uh, ginger on this side. The reason that I plant a, ding a ginger also on this side because... Uh, you know, I have a reason why. Because if there's uh, any uh, typhoon coming, of course, the it's gonna be uh, destroy the the leaves. It's gonna be aff affected on that. But but I'm know for sure that the ginger under is they gonna survive it and they can sprout again. So I think that the smart idea that I did. So all of this row here is full of ginger. So if uh, I need to cook something with ginger, I don't need to buy anymore. Just pull or dig some of this ginger here. That's what I'm doing. So free on I am. More pepper and uh, random stuff also. I, tomatoes and uh, I plant at the edge of uh, edge there I plant the garlic and uh, I don't know if the garlic blended for some of the baseball but uh, I don't care uh, as long as they grow uh, don't matter with me
so once again thank you so much for always watching and never get tired watching my garden video and uh, uh, I always love to share with you all my effort here and uh, of course planting and growing stuff is my fashion so uh, I don't care if my hands get dirty and I'm sweating much so to all of you there I hope that I inspire of you that uh, sometimes you know life is not just uh, you know stress sometimes you're the one to create your stress so if you have chance to enjoy your life just do it so like me it is my choice to enjoy this is my passion and I like I like to share it and uh, like they like they always said money can't buy happiness so with me you know I don't care like I said I don't care to I don't care my hands get dirty you know and uh, as long as you enjoy it so thank you so much and hope you enjoy my video so by the way uh, just <laughs> ignore my James always called prequel so I was being in derm clinic and to all of you maybe uh, curious what it is so I remove all my warts here you know so uh, sometimes uh, it's not only here sometimes I also treat myself so sometimes uh, I also go out and do things and enjoy life there outside you know sometimes you should need to we should need to take care of ourselves also it's not only look rugged every day so just some, the same like I'm doing to the plants it's blending my life is blending I know how to to social my life I know how to to do it some things here it's everything you know it's a uh, all around deal. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon to a windy, breezy day with a monsoonal wind coming in from the southwest here in the Philippines. You really got the water churned up there in the shallows and still beautiful out in the deeps. Well, one of the beautiful things about a windy day is that even though you may not be putting out a whole lot of solar with the cloudiness you're making up for it with a little bit of wind so we're we're more than three-fourths full that shows three bars but actually we were way higher than that on our battery status right now um it's maybe about 1:30 or so in the afternoon two o'clock but the nice thing is is that the wind generator is putting out and so we're getting several hundred watts out of that and that's a big plus plus um, we're still getting solar because these are hybrid wind and solar so we've got solar panels connected here we've got wind connected here and we've got output power and this is a dump mainly to operate the brake up on the wind generator so it don't over rev when it's fully charged you must understand that's not just about dumping power um, you know, if you're over making and dumping it, that gives a resistance against the fields up in the wind generator. So it'll slow down if the battery is completely full and that power, it puts resistance, a load on it so that it don't over rev. 
while we're talking about power, let's talk about this little Renogy right here. So this will tell me exactly how many watts is coming in. These two will. They'll tell me exactly in watts what the power is coming in. This one right here will tell me exactly in watts from my solar uh, how many watts is coming in. But this one don't. This one tells you in voltage and amps, okay? So if you want to know how many watts you're getting, right now it's putting out roughly 38.2 volts. And let's see here. Let's go back the other way. And 9.97 amps. So there's two solar panels connected to this. And it is a very cloudy day outside. And we're going to, let's, let's just find a happy medium here. So we're going to say 9.85 times multiply 38.3 so that is 377.25 watts coming in off two solar panels on a very cloudy day so if that's that's how if you don't know how to do it you can read your voltage and read your amp load and multiply that 38.2 and go back the other way and like right now it's 9.67 that's always going to be fluctuating according to how strong the sun's coming in but just amps times your voltage and you're going to get your wattage right there okay so this morning here joel capped this off right here with the gray tile like everything else is and he's got this all capped off and it looks really good now i like it it was just some raw concrete up there. Now it's got a nice flow all the way around everywhere. So that's another little bit of completion. In here in this CR, you tile the floor, but it's covered up right now with cartons. Got the threshold piece in everything. But what I decided was that I'm just not going to tile this entire room. Uh, it, this is just the bonus CR and I just don't want to spend the money putting a whole bunch of tile in here. So they had already textured and painted it from that window there up and the ceiling and all is already done. But what we're going to do is we're going to tile this area right here with the sink with some tile that we already have and use up some stuff sitting here. And just tile that wet area around the sink right there where water splashes all the time. So Mop Mock and Marvin were in here skim coating this room, but I put Mop Mock on other things. So Marvin's happy to be in here skim coating because he's tired of digging sand at the beach. He felt like a crab. Thought he was digging hole like a crab. Using up some tile that I've already got right there. So, and it's tile that matches in all the other CR, so it still give a little bit of continuity throughout the place. Boy, doesn't that black stone look so nice? Look at that, man looks so good looks so good well what we did is that same uh coating which is some really powerful stuff i'll try to find that can well here it is right here let me show you right here they got a little bit of stuff all over it but uh right here nippon paint slate finish natural stone um and cement with substrate this stuff right here it is some powerful nose curling stuff too there's the price yeah there is the price uh, UV resistant anti-fungus and it's for interior and exterior and I tell you what this stuff right here makes all the stonework look beautiful it seals it and it'll stop a lot of that color fade going on in your stone too uh, for instance right here this has got color fade to it right now so i had ammon today to do all the black stone all the way around everywhere he worked on it some yesterday and then today everywhere 
He's been on a ladder all over the place working on it. Man, the guys, when they got off work this evening, they all went out to look at it too because it really made the stone look so rich, just like it does in the house on the wall. Joel worked here for um, a while, kind of working around them while they were skim coating, uh, starting to lay out the tile, grind the holes through for the pipe on the wall there uh, for the drain. He's working that up, and, man, that's saving a bunch of money not tiling this whole restroom. It didn't have a shower in it anyway, so uh, I just really didn't see the need to get that crazy on it. I'm going to put numerous coats of that semi-gloss paint. We always put numerous coats of the concrete primer on. I use that Davies Mega Krill. I, I like it. I, I think it's some good stuff. We did the stone right here, too. Um, we want to see a little color test run. I said, well, let's do it right here on this wall and see how it comes out. And, man, I think it came out very, very nice. And he's gonna be doing all of the pink stone in front after he finishes all the black stone completely. If I have to go buy more, I'll go buy more. I wanna stop that color fade going on on some of that pink stone. Hey, if you want a chance to do a meet and greet with us, we are going to be up in Manila on July the 28th. Uh, we're gonna be at Bay View Park Hotel. That is right there on Rojas Boulevard at Ermita. Uh, near the U.S. Embassy right there. Uh, we want to set a time with everyone. It'll probably be like if we're going to do it maybe around lunch in the afternoon, something like that. So any of you that might be interested, write us an email, jamesray080808 at gmail.com. And let us know if you're interested in meeting up there at Bayview Park Hotel Intermeta on Rojas Boulevard on July 28th. Have a little meet and greet. Uh, if you can come, that's great. If you can't, well, we're going to be there any which way as we make our route back to the United States, but not to Texas yet. There's going to be a little surprise twist coming on that. So, write us, let us know if you can meet up, and we hope that we see you there. Thank you. Take care.